a large track of water dotted with a hundred islands, lush green forests, waterfalls and the skies opening up with their bounty of rain. These are not the images that you associate with Rajasthan, but this is the rich area of Banswara that attracts tourists and pilgrims alike. The biggest draw to this area is the temple of Tripura Sundari, considered one of the great Shakti peaks of India or temples dedicated to the female force of Shakti. The main deity here is the 18-handed goddess astride her tiger who faces the north. Tripura Sundari represents the power of the trinity of Lakshmi, Saraswati and Parvati. The original temple and the main sculpture within are said to be over 2,000 years old and locals believe that it preceded the reign of the Kushan Emperor Kanishka. You can even find an inscription here. Today rebuilt on the same ancient site as a larger, more modern complex, this temple attracts hundreds of thousands of devotees each year. Banswara, which literally means bamboo country, got its name from thick bamboo forests like this that were all around here once. The wettest part of Rajasthan, at its southern tip bordering Gujarat, this area is lush and rich. The backwaters of the nearby Mahi Dam offer a breathtaking sight. They have over a hundred small islands rising above the waters. En route, don't miss the cluster of ancient Kalpavriksh trees, venerated even today by the locals as a grantor of wishes. Dotted with temples, lush green forests and overflowing with nature's bounty, Banswara could well be a piece of heaven on land. <laughs>